had a question on the Steam forums about the use of missiles and nuclear weapons. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to look at the land tab, very first tab. Notice the very first icon is strategic targeting. Click on that and open it up. Now, on the left is your reserves. This is the weapon types that you can filter. And here are the available platforms. So let's start with land. All right, so these missiles right here are uh, land launch, three different types. This is my strategic pool. So what I have to do is highlight these missiles, just click on them, left click on them, and then either move one over, let me unpause it, move one over or I can move them all over. This adds all missiles. And notice all 19 went over. Okay, so you can pick and choose which one you, you want to use. So this is land launched missiles. So then what I need to do is go up here and choose some kind of uh, land unit that will launch these missiles. Now when you look at these missiles, you can see that they have a uh, size. The bottom right icon on this pop-up says shows a missile and it says 10. That means the size of this missile is 10. So you need a ground unit that can handle size 10 missiles. So let's look at these ground units. This ground unit right here can handle missile size 12. So this unit will work. This one can also handle 12. Okay, so we'll put all of these in here. Now this pool, I've got missiles and I've got land artillery. Now what I do is down here I can choose a target. We want to choose a target, for example, in let's say in Eastern Europe, and let's target Belarus. Belarus. Now I can determine how many missiles I want to fire. If I have 19 missiles here, I can fire 25% of them out, or I can fire 100%. Okay. In this case, I want to use 100% of the missiles that have been allocated to the street strategic pool. Now, down here, if we're at war with Belarus and other countries, I can choose to include all the enemies of our region, which uh, I would only do if they were an ally and I wanted to destroy their enemies. Or I could do all of, they are an enemy and I can include all of their allies because presumably their allies will also go to war with me. Again, that's a choice. And then you would just click on launch strategic attack and the attack would go out. Now, if I want to use aircraft, I would click on the aircraft button. I would go down here to air launch missiles. And notice I've only got one type, the AS-19 Koala. So I want to add it to the pool. I had to add all four of them to the pool. And then again, I have to choose an aircraft that can launch the missiles. These missiles are size four. I'm going to pick a strategic bomber, and I'm going to use the backfire. The backfire can launch up to size 14 missile, so I will load the backfires into the strategic pool. Okay, as of right now, if I were to press this button, I would have airplanes bombing and ground units bombing. But let's say I also want my submarines. So we click on the submarine tab. We look for sub-launched. Or, or this is naval tab, not specifically submarine, but the naval tab. And I, let's say I want to launch these four SLBMs. I add them to the pool. And these are size 10 missiles, so we need a submarine. Now, SSBN is the submarines that generally launch the large nuclear weapons. Notice they can handle up to 45. So let's add them to the pool. All right, so now I've got 28 submarines to launch these sub-launched missiles. And last but not least, we just want regular naval-launched missiles. Okay, These are size 4 and these are size 5. So let's find a capital ship, and the Kirov will do nicely. It can handle up to size 35, so we'll add the Kirov into the strategic pool and add all of these nuclear missiles into the strategic pool. All right, and again, I want to fire 100% of these missiles. 
I've got land units that fire missiles, bombers that fire missiles, submarines, and capital ships. So that should cover everything. Now what I need to do, uh, just for the sake of this video, I need to declare war on Belarus. So let's declare war. And I want a strategic attack on them. Notice they're my target, Belarus. All this stuff stays in there because this pool does not change unless you change it. So let's go ahead and do it. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. General Porter. General so you can see here, this is the ground units that are firing those missiles. They automatically deployed. I didn't have to do anything for it. These are the ground missiles. Now, you see here that we've got aircraft that just appear on the map. These are submarines launching those missiles. And in a moment up here, we're going to see some airplanes. So everybody will launch missiles. And notice they target the entire country. All the major cities. Any kind of facility that it can target, it will target here. This one is going directly for Slonim. Almost wiped off the map. But that's how you fire nuclear weapons. You have to put them in that strategic pool, and then they will all be fired out by whatever device or unit you chose. 